If we look at technological disruptions through time, there have been pretty important ones, like, for example, the invention of electricity, the invention of the electric light, which enables us to have light after it gets dark. Back in the 1800s, we had women sewing clothing in huge factories. We came up with robotic sewing, where machines then knew how to create a shirt. In many cases, higher quality, and it also freed up the women to be doing other things with their time. Now, we are living in the world where AI is coming into the fore. Autonomous vehicles will change everything about the way we move goods and the way we move people on our planet. We take these trucks that move goods for people and we make those trucks into robots. And so what our trucks will do is improve the global supply chain by making transportation of goods much, much cheaper and thus disseminating them around the world. So Venti was founded by myself, MIT professor Daniela Roos, who runs MIT's largest lab, CSAIL, with about 1,200 academic researchers at MIT, and our co-founder, Sinsindu. On one fateful Friday afternoon, I went to MIT to CSAIL. Our guys at MIT had been working on an autonomous wheelchair, and I found a graduate student who couldn't walk and had a wheelchair. We put her into the vehicle and off she went. We could push on a touch screen where she wanted to go around the first floor of that lab. And when she came back from her ride, she was beside herself excited. She said, I could go wherever I wanted with this kind of a vehicle. And so that really was very meaningful to both myself and Daniela. We decided that we were going to do moving goods. And we found our partner in PSA, Singapore's port operator. We started out with one truck, we went to three, and then we went to tens and tens of vehicles, which is now what we're running today. Before our vehicles were implemented in the port operations, we conducted rigorous testing and several site acceptance tests to ensure smooth driverless operation. We receive jobs and then we ferry containers from yard to yard or loading or discharging containers from vessel. The vehicles are running 24-7 and are driverless, so we reduce the human break times or even the shift changes. It allows us to run 24-7 without any disruption and to maximize the efficiency. So this contributes to the continuous logistic chain. On autonomy level, we have features that helps us to detect obstacles and predict maneuvers that allows us to avoid different types of objects at the port. For example, when there is interaction with human, we have implemented safety features that allows our vehicles to work safely alongside them. There's no need to like for a remote operator to look at the vehicle or to look after the vehicle for its safety. LiDAR as a name indicator is shooting like lasers or lights to the environment and when it hits something it will be bounced back. Then based on the feedback from the LiDAR then we can calculate the distance. One is to cover uh, the blind spots of the vehicle which covers the near range like up to 20 meters. And we also utilize some middle range LiDAR so that the vehicle can see obstacles up to 50 meters. And then we have also utilize the latest technology in the LiDAR, which is called solid state LiDAR, mainly to cover even far distance, like up to 100 to 150 meters, so that we are able to identify a quick moving vehicles and vehicle can react accordingly. Where the remote operator, the main role is for exception handling, meaning when the vehicle sees an exceptional case, the vehicle will come to a stop first, make sure it's safe, then raise a request to the remote human operator, then the operator will give some commands to the vehicle, then the vehicle will carry out the actions accordingly. 
the kind of working environment in the logistic hub is harsh. Like it's not very good and uh, very healthy for human drivers. Due to the weather conditions, we can become tired after long hour of driving. After keep on like doing the same thing over time, for the autonomous vehicle, it's a better solution to fulfill those routine jobs and to do those standard processes. So what we are trying to solve here is not to replace human drivers. They can be upscaled like to do remote operators, to do fleet managers, and etc. They can also join us to test drive the autonomous vehicles or to become a safety driver for the autonomous vehicle. I found Inventi to make the world a better place. It will change everything. Our cities will change. How we get places will change. People won't have to do some of the mundane work that they do. And people and robots will work together to be able to do the functionalities that our society needs. And not only that, we can help heal our planet, help reduce emissions. So I think autonomy is gonna have really far-reaching societal benefits that we can't even imagine now.